In this video, we are going to learn how you can add new job form submissions to Excel spreadsheet row. So the idea here is that you have created a form using your job form account. Now you want that whenever the form is submitted, automatically the details of the form submission should be added to your Excel spreadsheet as a new row. For that, you need to integrate your job form account with Microsoft Excel. So here your trigger application would be job form and your action application would be MS Excel. So how you can set up this automation and how you can integrate both these software applications using Pabli Connect, for that you need to come to my screen. So welcome to my screen. Here let us type P-A-B-B-L-Y, pabli.com in our browser. This is a website of Pabli. Here we have to come to products and click on Pabli Connect. This is the landing page of Pabli Connect. As you are the first time user, you have to click on sign up for free button and you can create your own account in just 2 minutes and you are going to get free task every month. If you are already a user of Pabli Connect, simply click on sign in. In the all apps section, come to Pabli Connect and click on access now. This is the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Here we have to create a workflow. For that, come to this plus sign and click on create workflow. Now here we have to give a name to the workflow. So let us give the name as Jot form to MS Excel integration. Here you can give the workflow name as per your requirement and simply click on create. Now we can see a trigger window and an action window. So Pabli Connect works on the concept of trigger and action. Trigger means when this happens, action means do this. So in this particular use case, we want that whenever we receive any form submission on our job form form, we want the same data to be added to our MS Excel spreadsheet. For that, first we need to integrate our job form specific form with Pabli Connect. So simply open this trigger window and here choose the application name as job form. Select the trigger event as new response. Now we can see a webhook URL and some instructions. So by following these instructions, you can set up the webhook in your JotForm account. So I'm just going to copy this webhook URL from here and I'll take you to my JotForm account where I have already created some forms. That is stock market webinar, job application form, registration form, customer form. So now I want to integrate stock market webinar form with Pabli Connect so that whenever I receive a submission over here, and uh, whenever the form is submitted, the details are captured in Pabli Connect. And here you can see I have zero submissions on this particular form. So I'm just going to click on edit form. And here I have taken the basic fields. That is the name, first name, last name, email address and the phone number of the participant. Okay, if you want to add some more fields to this particular form, simply click on this plus sign add form element. Okay, and you can just uh, fill in the details or uh, you can add the elements or the fields as per your requirement. Once you are done completing this form, come to the settings option. Here on the left hand side, we can find integrations option. Click on it. And here in the search bar, we have to find webhooks. Select webhooks. And here we have to add a webhook. So here we will be pasting the webhook URL that we have copied from Pabli Connect. Okay, and then click on complete integration. Integration is ready. Now let's click on finish. So here we can see that there is a tick mark on this webhooks option. Let's move back to Pabli Connect. And here we can see that it is waiting for the webhook response. So in order to capture the response, we have to do a test submission. It means we have to fill up the form on the name of a customer. Okay. Or, the, or on the name of a participant. So let's move to the form once again. And here now I'll be clicking on publish option. And here we can find the form link. So I'm just going to open this form in a new tab. Here, let us give the first name of this participant as demo, last name as name itself, email address as demo at the rate pablitutes.com and let's enter the phone number and now let's click on submit. Thank you, your submission has been received. So the form has been filled. Now let's move back to public connect. And here we can see the responses received and all the details related to the form and the form submission are captured over here. We can form, uh, find the form title as stock market webinar. And when we scroll down here, we can find the first name of the participant, last name, his email address and the phone number. So now we want this data to be added to our Excel spreadsheet. For that, we have to integrate our Excel spreadsheet with Pabli Connect also. So I'll just take you to the Excel spreadsheet. This is a spreadsheet named webinar registrants, which I have already created. 
and the sheet name is stock market where i am taking the details first name last name email address as well as the phone number of the participant who is going to attend the webinar okay so now we are going to integrate this particular excel sheet with pabli connect so scroll down come to this action step and here choose the application name as microsoft excel select the action event as add row to the worksheet click on connect click on add new connection and click on connect with microsoft excel now it is asking let this app access your info let's scroll down and click on yes to give away the access over here authorization successful and now the microsoft excel account is connected to pabli connect so as we have created a connection here we can find all the spreadsheets or the workbooks that i have created in my microsoft excel account okay you can find all the spreadsheet or the uh, workbooks names over here so our workbook name was webinar registrant so i'll be selecting the same uh, workbook name over here as webinar registrants now here we have to select the worksheet so as i have created a single worksheet in this particular workbook the worksheet name is automatically captured as stock market if you have created multiple worksheets then you have to select the worksheet name from the drop down okay now here it is asking for the first name last name email address and the phone number that needs to be entered in these fields so we have already got all these details from the trigger response over here so we will be mapping this data now for mapping scroll down just click it over here come to jot form response and from here we will be mapping the first name which was demo in the same way let us map the last name also that was name itself now we'll be mapping the email address and here let us map the phone number so we have mapped all the details now let's click on save and send test request Okay, and here we can see the response is received. It means the data is added to our Excel spreadsheet. Let's check it. We have to just refresh. Okay, and before refreshing itself, we can find first name as demo, last name as name itself. Here we can find the email address as well as the phone number. So in this way, we can see that we have set up the automation and our integration is working fine. Let's move back to Public Connect and let us save this workflow first. data saved successfully okay now as this is a one time process we have set up the automation next time whenever any of your participant is going to fill up your jot form specific form automatically the details of the form submission will be captured in your excel spreadsheet over here so let's check this in the real time that whether our integration is actually working fine or not for that i'll just move to the form once again and here we are going to just enter the details of some other participant let's give the first name as dummy last name as customer email address as dummy at the rate pablitutes.com and let's enter the phone number over here and let's click on submit thank you your submission has been received so the form has been filled now let us check our excel spreadsheet okay and here we can find the details of the next participant name as dummy last name as customer here we can find the email address and the phone number so in this way we can see that our integration is perfectly working fine let's move back to public connect and i'll just minimize all these windows and let us see in a nutshell whatever we have done till now so first we have created an integration between jot form and public connect so that whenever the response is received on the form submission automatically the details are captured in public connect and then using those details we have entered the same data or the same record into excel spreadsheet and in this way we have learned that how we can integrate jot form with ms excel using pabli connect thank you so not just these software applications you can integrate a ton of applications and automate your business using pabli connect in case of any queries you can visit our pabli forum to check the pricing details of pabli connect you can visit this particular url also the link of pabli connect and this workflow is available in the description box you can clone the same workflow into your account directly if you really like this video please comment share and subscribe Thank you everyone.